Hi, I'm Rob Harris, and I'm your host of the show, Five Minutes of Fame in Fenton. Thanks for tuning in again. Wow, did we get clobbered with the snow. Nothing better than a good uh, snowy day to sit inside, maybe light a fire, read a couple of books. So today, it is my privilege to introduce to you W.C. Hoffman, local author. How are hey, you doing? Good, thanks. And you know what? We'll make it easy. Uh-huh. Call me Bill. Bill? Yeah. You got it, Bill. All right, thanks. So you were uh, born and raised right here in Fenton. Yep, lived here my whole life. Uh, graduated in 1999, grew mm-hmm. up on Main Street. I okay. mean, it's not more American than that, right? That's right. Main Street. Bob Seeger had a lot to say about There you go. Down on Main Street. That's right. That's yep. right. He actually played in the Fenton Community Center here. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, when uh, he was on tour, they had a t-shirt of everywhere he played, even the small places. Okay. The Fenton Community Center's right there. It's right on there. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. What, uh, what school did you go to? I went to Tomac Eastern, and then obviously up through the middle school, and then uh, graduated from Fenton. Mm-hmm. And um, in my books, Fenton is mentioned mm-hmm. quite a lot. That's why I wanted to uh, reach out and uh, come on Five Minutes of Fenton, because yeah. one of the main characters in mm-hmm. my debut novel, Twins of Prey, okay. is actually named Tomac. Oh, is that, oh that's your main character? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, there's, there's twins. Uh-huh. They're twin brothers. Uh, they're raised off the grid to survive in the woods of northern Michigan. Okay. But... Uh, when I was naming the characters, I thought, mm-hmm. I'm going to pay homage to my hometown. That's neat. Yep. And uh, so his name is Tomac. He's mm-hmm. one of the, my favorite characters I've ever written. Yeah. And um, his t- him and his twin brother, uh, Drake, okay. you know, uh, they are trained to be totally self-sufficient. Mm-hmm. Even as 12-year-old kids. Okay. They can hunt. They can fish. They can trap. They can survive. Yeah. All on their own in the woods. Excellent. And then um, you got an, another book here yeah, as well? Yeah, so the book series uh-huh. Twins of Prey is actually a four-book series. Okay. Uh, there are two out right now. The third one is written. It's in editing and production. Oh, excellent. The fourth one I haven't started yet. Okay. It's here. It's there. <laughs> it's yeah. just not in the computer yet. Right. But here's the uh, Twins of Prey 2, Homecoming. Homecoming, okay. Yep, and so when they come home, I bet you can't guess what city they come to. Ah, Fenton. There you go. That's right. <laughs> right. Yeah, so Twins of Prey 2 Homecoming. Uh-huh. Uh, we have Twins of Prey 3 Ascension, Ascension which is being okay. worked on right now. Mm-hmm. And Twins of Prey 4 is to be determined. Absolutely. <laughs> I haven't figured that one out yet. And this, uh, these are works of fiction? Yes, it's, it's uh. complete fiction. Uh, I like to say... Everything in them is true mm-hmm. except for the stuff I made up. Okay. <laughs> I like that. That's a good way to say it. So even though they're fiction, uh, uh-huh. the hunting techniques they yeah. use, the trapping techniques, the gardening techniques, mm-hmm. everything they use is real. Okay. Okay. The situations they're put in are not. Right. Okay. Um, it's a story of right and wrong. Yeah. They're raised away from society. Okay. They don't know right and wrong. Mm-hmm. And when society wants them to change their lives, they don't. Mm-hmm. They don't change lives. They start taking lives. Okay. So it's an action thriller, yep. suspense novel with a little bit of murder mystery thrown in. There you go. And it all takes place right here in Michigan. Well, that's awesome. And the, and the third one's coming out. Do you have a projected release date? By Probably the around March. Okay. Yep. For the spring? Yeah. All right. So we've got two to read over the winter. That's right. One coming in spring. That's right. Great. Where would, where would we get our hands on the books? That's what's really cool about mm-hmm. being a local author is I wanted to keep the books local. Okay. And they are available locally. Mm-hmm. Fenton's Open Bookstore, okay, right, right next to Sweet Variations. Yeah, in Dibbleville. In yeah. Dibbleville. Uh, they have signed copies there. Okay. Okay. And the signed copies are the exact same price as mm-hmm. you would pay for an unsigned copy on Amazon. The books, of course, there you go. are available on Amazon. Okay. But you're not going to get signed copies. Right. Right. So the paperbacks are available there. The ebooks, if you're okay. a Kindle reader, are available everywhere you would ever buy ebooks wonderful so um amazon kindle kobo nook itunes google you know if you search twins of prey you'll Mm -hmm. find it twins of prey and then Mm -hmm. um also sunrise archery and outdoors okay uh, is carrying the book because it has a huge outdoors uh feel to it that's who it's written for i'm an outdoorsman i like to hunt and fish right um so the archery shops locally are carrying it and where, where's that sunrise I, uh, archery and outdoors is on tory road okay yep just north of south long lake road fabulous yep and then um spot shooter archery and holly okay as well as past Tense books in Holly. That just opened. Is that just opened in Holly? Yeah, they've been open about two months now, but they just okay. had their big grand opening. Yeah, and if you haven't been there, it's really cool. Awesome. It's very Harry Potter feeling because it's like okay. upstairs and it's all brick and it's one of the bookshops 
And Fenton's open book is the same way. Yeah. You just walk into those bookstores and you just, ah, it's not the big multi-mega complex. It's your hometown bookstore. And those are the kind of places I want people mm-hmm. to buy my books. That's great. And I, and I heard we had uh, Karen Pisantini, owner of uh, Open Book, on a Five Minutes of Fame. Yes, did. And she did. I didn't know this. I should have seen the sign, but they sell pasties there. I hear they're great. Yeah, we uh, have partaken in quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> so you can attest to that as well? Yeah, the venison one's really good. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to check that one out. Yep. And then if you're not a big reader, let's mm-hmm. say you have a long drive okay. or a commute. Um, the audiobooks are available too. Okay. And they're available on audible.com. Yep. All right. And then also, if fans can connect with me on Facebook, I'm yep. addicted okay. to social media. So, uh, author W.C. Hoffman. Okay. On Facebook as well. Excellent. If you are seeing this on uh, social media, there's probably a share button right, right down there. Click that, share this video, get the word out for Bill. And um, are there any final thoughts you'd like to share with us before we wrap up here? Yeah, when I started writing, I kind of didn't know where to go. Mm-hmm. I wrote the book, and mm-hmm. the book was done, and I wasn't sure what to do with it. And okay. I wish there had been a group of people that I could um, maybe just you know pick their brains a little bit. Yeah. And there wasn't. So I created one. There you go. <laughs> On Facebook, we have a group uh-huh. called the Flint Area Authors Alliance. Okay, F-A-A-A. So, F-A-A-A. F-A-A, awesome. but uh, we go with the F-A and then the three, like the cube. So, okay. So F-A-3, uh, look us up, Flint Area Authors Alliance on Facebook. It's free. Anyone can join. We're very open mm-hmm. in, with giving advice as far as uh, traditional publishing as well mm-hmm. as self-publishing and editing and cover design. We're there to help each other. And what's really cool mm-hmm. is when someone releases a new mm-hmm. book, we all help promote it for them. Oh, that's good. You know, and it's open to all genres, romance, action, thriller, crime, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and you don't have to be published. Yeah. You know, we are open to everyone. So find us on Facebook, join us, and uh, help spread the word. That is absolutely awesome. Bill, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. All right. And uh, Fenton, thanks for giving us five. Take care and be well. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode of 5 Minutes of Fame and Fenton. Hey, would you like to appear on this show or do you know somebody that should? Please send us your ideas for the shows at ideas at fentontv.com. If you're watching this show on Facebook, please click that share button and share this show with all of your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the Facebook page. Go to fentontv.com directly. That's ideas at fentontv.com. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and be well.